Hi everyone. So today I thought it will be interesting for all of you to know that infants, yes, they do swallow differently than adults. So now, what is different in an infantile swallow? Infantile swallow or the way how infants swallow uh, is different in a way that the lip muscles of an infant is very active if you compare it to adults in the sense that the lip muscles they have to work extraordinarily to suckle the milk out of their mother's breast and also the tongue tip while swallowing is brought forward and it is in contact with the lower lip also the posterior tongue that means the back part of the tongue and also the pharynx that is the soft palate onwards uh, the portion that's there in a layman language that has got very little activity while swallowing now if we want to try to understand this uh, with a diagram so if you can see uh, the milk uh, as it's quoted out of the mother's nipple is uh, happening because of the uh, extra or increased activity of the lip muscles as I just mentioned in my previous slide then the um, activity of the back part of the tongue and also the back part of the palate that is the soft palate and then attached to it lies the pharynx or in layman language if I would say the back the backmost part of the mouth that has got a very little activity while swallowing okay but again not to forget the fun fact that I just mentioned the fun fact is the tongue and the lower lip in an infant they are so uh, so much in opposition to eat each other that uh, you know if you gently move the lower lip of the infant the tongue will move along uh, it's almost as if the two are glued together so that's quite a fun fact now the transition that happens from an infantile swallow to adult swallow usually begins by one year of age and what actually happens is as the infant matures the uh, elevator muscles of the mandible that means the elevator muscles of the lower jaw elevator muscles that means those muscles that pull it up that pull the lower jaw up they are the elevator muscles in layman language their activity increases the tongue movement also becomes more complex because before the infant had just infant just had to uh, take milk but now as the semi-solid and solid food is introduced into a child's diet obviously the positioning and the placement and the uh, transport of the bolus that means the semi-solid food or the uh, half chewed food in the mouth that's there that has to be uh, happening correctly so for that a complex tongue movement is required and also the chewing pattern becomes more established uh, for that I've attached a fun photograph for you to understand so as you can see on the left hand side of the screen a child a very small child you see uh, she just has this opening and closing movement while eating something but as the child matures you see more sideways movement also and uh, not to forget the extraordinary expression of tasting their light food which you can see on the photograph is anyways there so anyways to summarize the entire thing, what actually happens is at birth, the front part of the mouth, that is the lips, has got a more active uh, uh, role and the posterior or the back part of the mouth has got a very little uh, activity because they are still immature. But as the child matures and as the child grows into an adult, the lip activity reduces and the back part of the tongue the back part of the throat, the pharynx basically, all that acquires a more complex and mature activity uh, and in fact the entire activity of them increases. So that's it. This was a very small uh, short video which I thought will be informative and interesting too to, you, to know that yes, children and adults do swallow differently. Take care till then. 
Bye. Thank you.